Hello, and welcome to today's video. So today I just wanna give you a little bit of a guide on how to survive the Spooky2 terrain protocol, also known as the 11 day effortless detox that I offer as a group bioresonance program. So whether you're doing this as part of the group program or whether you're doing this by yourself, same info is still gonna apply. So the first thing I wanna say before, before this is this bioresonance program goes on top of anything you're already doing. You're not supposed to do or change too much around this. It's supposed to be on top. So if you're doing a parasite protocol or if you are if you have some supplements that are working for you or if you're on medications, like don't change anything. Just do the things you're already doing. This comes on top of everything. But for some people, they can their detox a bit too fast or they're having a Herxheimer reaction or a healing crisis. I want to give you some tips and tricks just to smooth this process out a little bit to just make it a little bit easier for you. So the first thing that I wanna say, and this is the most important thing, is if you are detoxing and it's making you feel bad, you are not helping yourself. You are not helping yourself, so stop doing it. Whether you're doing this yourself or in your, if you're in the group program, if you're in the group program and you're feeling ba bad, let me know so I can pause sending the frequencies to you. When you are, when you're feeling bad when you're doing a detox, you're actually pushing past your, your current detox capacity, your current detox threshold. And that doesn't help you heal. That actually stops you from healing. When you heal, all of your healing comes from within. It comes from your own body. Your body knows how to fix itself. When you are imposing things on it, whether it's a supplement or a protocol or bioresonance, if it's making you feel really bad, you're not helping yourself because you're pushing out of your body's current capacity for detox and you're forcing it to have to try and do jobs that it doesn't want to be doing right now. And therefore it isn't doing the jobs that it needs to be doing. And that's why you feel crap. So if it's too much for you, don't be a hero. Stop. If you're doing it with me, send me a message and I'll, I'll take you out of the generator and it'll stop sending the frequencies to you. If you're doing this at home yourself, just slow your treatment down, pause it, just stop pushing through. This is something that this is like, this is something about alternative and holistic medicine that I really despise is that if, if you're feeling crap while you're doing it, that's, that means that it's working. It doesn't. It means you're using it too much. You're pushing it too far. That doesn't help you heal. So stop doing it. But what I want to do is give you some tools now so that we can make it so that you can maybe be feeling you're starting to feel a bit bad, but we can lessen that impact and support your body through the process. That's what, that's what being gentle in the healing process looks like. So I've got a little list here of a couple of things I just want to share with you. So the first point is stay hydrated. This doesn't mean you have to drink five liters of water every single day. It means just have a water bottle nearby. However it looks like this is just some like scrappy one from the supermarket. I've got a nice one, but it's in the wash. Just have a bottle of water near you. And when you are thirsty, when you feel your mouth is dry, when you feel your lips are dry, when you feel the desire to drink water, drink until you don't feel like you want to drink anymore. That's it. That's that's how you stay hydrated. Just Just drink water when you're thirsty. You don't have to hit a limit. You don't have to drink five liters. Just don't listen to what anybody on the internet is saying. Do what your body is saying because your body knows how to heal itself. So if it's thirsty, drink. The best way to do that is have it within an arm's reach so you don't have to get up because otherwise you probably won't. You'll just stay thirsty. And then you stay thirsty for such a long time you don't even realize that you're thirsty anymore and you're dehydrated. So just have a bottle there and drink when you feel thirsty. Secondly, I'd encourage you to watch one of the videos that I have on YouTube. It is the six steps to remove mold and mycotoxins from the body. So six steps to heal from mold. The video is talking specifically about mold, but this six step process applies to all fat soluble toxins, every single fat soluble toxin. So this is plastics, estrogenic compounds. This is your old hormones that your body produces. This is mold and mycotoxins. This is heavy metals. This is several antibiotics this is a lot of different things and the first i think it's the first six or seven days of the bioresonance program of the effortless detox of the terrain protocol is all about fat soluble toxins so if you can support this six step process it's going to make you feel a lot better so i don't want to cover that because i've got a 30 minute video it's like a master class that walks you through the full six step process what the steps are how they work and how you can support them at each level go and watch that video it's on my youtube channel go and find it. I'll leave a link probably somewhere below or something. There'll be a link somewhere. Go and watch that video. That's a really helpful video just for detoxification in general. Next is your sleep. If the bioresonance program is affecting your sleep negatively and you can't sleep, that's a red flag. That means you're doing too much. If you're feeling extra tired and you can sleep more, sleep more. 
I know it sounds so stupidly simple, but it really is that simple. If your body is doing all of this extra work, it needs extra time to be focused on doing the healing process. So sleep extra if you can. Your appetite may change during this. It may go up, it may come down. If it's going up, it is an indicator that your body needs more resources to process all of these toxins and complete this program. So it needs more calories, it needs more micronutrients. Detoxification is an expensive process. So provide it with those resources. This is not the time to eat in a calorie deficit. This is not a time to watch your weight. This is the time to help your body heal itself. If you find you're going the other the other side, so you're actually losing your appetite and you don't have any, any hunger, this is a sign that maybe you're pushing it a little bit too far. Maybe it's a bit too much for you and you need to reduce it. Maybe you need to pause your frequencies. Maybe you need to come out of the generator. Or maybe you just need to consider doing some fasting. So you can fast around this, pro this, um, this program as well. So this would just look like periods of just not eating. You could try intermittent fasting where you're not eating for a certain period of time during the day, or you could do a couple of days of fasting in or around your bioresonance program, just to give your body a little bit of extra space to, instead of being working on digesting your food, it's working on all of those other jobs that it has, that it has accumulated. So either way, really listen to your body through this process. If you need more food, eat it. If you need more rest, take it. If you need to stop eating, then, then reduce your, your intake. If it gets to the point where you have no appetite whatsoever, your liver is overloaded, that's probably not helpful. You need to just slow your, slow your process down. So as far as some general rules of thumb, you've got those. And I wanna give you just some, some things that you can do, some like alternative and complementary therapies that you could add on the side and some certain supplements and things that I find are quite helpful for some people. So first of all, we've got heat exposure. So things like using the sauna and using hot baths and things like that if you're having specific pain somewhere in your body you could use like a hot water bottle or a heating pad or um the the infrared um the the near and far infrared lasers they can really help with pain and things like that this is a good time to use them it can be quite helpful you can use epsom salts in your bath that's also a really really nice one really helps with providing sulfur which is really important in detoxification and magnesium which is also really helpful you can also you can use a magnesium supplement alongside of this so as for magnesium supplements i generally like supplements that have many different forms of magnesium so if you can get a supplement that has five or more different forms of magnesium and these aren't forms like citrate oxide and sulfate these are not very well orally digested magnesium supplements wouldn't really use those the other ones that you're looking for are like the taurate the bisglycinate the ones that are amino acid chelates those ones are really really nice Next, you could use juicing. This can be really helpful, especially if your appetite is lower, especially if you're tending towards constipation. This can be really helpful. It's providing lots of enzymes, lots of polyphenols, lots of antioxidants, lots of nutrients, B vitamins, and you can fit it in around meals as well. Juicing, I would say, is one of the easiest and best things you can do around a bioresonance detox to make it a little bit smoother for you if you're struggling. So juicing is a really good option. And finally, sun exposure. So just make sure you're getting out and getting your sun. You know, get your vitamin D, get your infrared light. Just try and set your circadian rhythm properly. The sun does a lot for detoxification and it's going to really help your body through this process. You could also look at using a binder. That can be really helpful for some people. So you could look at activated charcoal, some kind of clay, or maybe a zeolite. If you've used something in the past that's worked for you, use that. If you're new to binders, start small, work your way up. Don't let yourself get constipated though. Whether you're not whether you're using a binder or not, constipation is a big red flag. If you're constipated before you start the bioresonance program, it might actually relieve the constipation. It might be because there's some, some blockages and things aren't working correctly and the bioresonance can help it. But if you are finding that you are struggling and you're becoming constipated on the program, that's the sign that you're doing a little bit too much and you need to calm it down. Or if your constipation is bad and is staying bad and isn't improving on the program, you also might want to calm it down, especially if it starts triggering other things that can be really associated with constipation, especially like anxiety or just like not feeling right, headaches, things like that. That's a good indicator that it's too much and you need to relieve that constipation somehow. I do have a guide on YouTube, the two steps to resolving constipation. Maybe check that out as well could be a, a helpful video for you, but constipation is definitely an indicator that binders, binders are generally quite constipating. So be careful with that, especially if you're already constipated or if you have a tendency towards constipation. If you take a binder and then you stop going to the toilet, that's not actually helping you with detoxification. It's actually making it a lot worse. So 
use it. It's not for everybody. I find that the best binders are actually probiotics because they do all of those binding jobs, but they do all of the other things that, that the binders don't do, like normalizing your microflora, stimulating your immune function, producing enzymes, doing loads of different jobs, and they're living, they're alive, they're intelligent, they can help your body in many, many different ways. So just to wrap this up, I just want to end it with don't be a hero, don't push through, stop thinking that healing is about just suffering until you get to the end. That's not what healing is. Healing is supposed to be a soft, kind, gentle process of you learning to take care of yourself in a better way. And if you're trying to force yourself to heal, you're actually not helping yourself to heal. You're just pushing yourself out of your Goldilocks zone. It's, it's, not, it's not what healing looks like. So find a way to incorporate these sort of therapies, modalities in a way that actually helps you and makes you feel better and stop sort of like punishing yourself and forcing yourself through things that make you feel bad in the hope that you're going to feel good at the end of it, because that isn't how healing works. Healing works by feeling good in the moment and continuing that good feeling and eventually it grows and expands. You don't push through the bad to get to the good. That's, that's a myth. That's not how it works. So if this is too much for you, pause it, slow it down it's not helpful for you to to push through that so just please don't do it it's really it's really not helping you so that's my little survival guide i hope that that gives you a little bit of extra direction and hope hopefully that gives you some tips and tricks so that you can manage any herxheimer or healing reactions that turn up and give you a couple of strategies to, to handle some of those things again finally just if you're feeling bad, just it, there's no shame in just saying like, this is a bit too much for me. Every time I run this program and I go in there, I'm out before the end of day two and I need to have a break. You know, that's fine. That's what it, there's, you don't benefit from pushing through when you're feeling bad. And that's okay. That's actually going to really help you in healing is learning. You don't have to push through those bad feelings. That's everything for me today. Hope it's been a really helpful video and I'll see you soon. Enjoy your bioresonance program. I hope it really, really helps. See ya.